the 6th of August, I received three uh, small prophetic dreams from the Lord. I've already done a video and uploaded that. And then on the 8th, I received three more small dreams from the Lord. And I've already uploaded that. And then on the 11th, uh, on that morning, I was interceding. I received three prophetic words from the Lord. And yes, I've noticed the pattern, three, three, three. And um, I'm not sure why that is. You guys know that the Lord speaks to me in numbers <laughs> uh, quite often. And uh, I'm sure that it is significant. But at this moment, I'm not sure what the significance is. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read this word to you. The first one is called Great Darkness Comes. And it says, I am the light of the world. Yet darkness comes. Who will my people choose? Do they love darkness or do they love me? Time shall tell because great darkness comes. Greater than ever before on the face of the earth. Such great darkness as not yet seen by the sons of men. Greater deception than ever has been known now begins to descend upon the earth. My children, to whom will you turn? Shall your hearts be filled with darkness or light? Will you turn to your enemy? Do your ears itch for lies or do you hunger for truth? Do you, my beloved, hunger for truth? If you do, truth you shall know. If you love yourselves and the things of this world more than you love truth, you will be deceived. I am truth. Oh, my children, how I love you. How I desire to protect you from the deception and darkness that approaches. Your enemy knows his time is short. He wars against my beloved creation with a vengeance. You, my dearly loved ones, may arise above the darkness. You may be my light if you choose light. I have planted seeds of righteousness inside of those in darkness. Those seeds shall receive my light from within you and spring forth even in the darkness. Do not be dismayed by the darkness. Resist it. Be separated from it so that you will not be deceived and so that you will be full of my light. Do not allow the contaminants of the wicked to contaminate you, my beloved. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness and you will not be entrapped by its lures. My light rises upon you, and you shall receive greater light than ever before this time. So do not be dismayed by the growing darkness, but use it as an opportunity to allow my light to shine upon you and through you in a greater measure than ever before. My beloved, I have prepared you for this hour. You are ready. You do not feel ready, but you are. My light is in you now. My word is in you. My spirit shines brightly upon you. Yet greater light will come upon you. I am in you and shall be with you. All darkness will be dispelled. And my light shall be a beacon of hope for those in darkness. My children, how shall my light be a great light without a great darkness? Do you trust me, my beloved? The enemy shall self-destruct. But I warn you, my beloved, have no fellowship with darkness. Come out and be separate. Turn from all darkness and I will purify. Love my light. Pursue truth. Humble your hearts before me, my children, and I shall rebuke the devourer on your behalf. I will cleanse all defilement. But you must not love the ways of your enemy because that is hatred of me. My children, what does darkness and light have to do with one with another? Excuse me, with one another. The darkness is in your enemy. It seeks to devour you. It seeks to strip you of all godliness. It will utterly destroy you, my children, in every way. If you love me, you will obey me. Anything less than surrender to me is of your enemy. You will either obey me or you will obey your enemy. There is no middle ground. You will love darkness or you will love my light. Do not be deceived by empty words. Turn your whole heart to me. Be filled completely with my light. Shut the door on darkness. It seeks to destroy you, my children. 
I have given you discernment and wisdom. If you love me, you if you love me, if you love truth, you will not be deceived. I am truth. Seek me. I will make you a beacon of my light in the time of greatest darkness. Reject all darkness. Father God, Lord, we just thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you that you love us and that you warn us. And Lord, you're constantly drawing us towards you, Lord. And you're constantly drawing closer and closer to us. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, and help us, Lord. Fill us with all wisdom and discernment, Lord. Help us to to see and to recognize, to know darkness instantly, Lord. And I know that you've given your children that ability, Lord, that if we desire to know truth, we will not be deceived. So, Lord, we just thank you. We love you. Lord, we take our rest in you. Lord, we take our joy and our peace in you. And, Lord, we just thank you so much, God, for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I don't feel led to share any scriptures with this. So that's all I have for right now. God bless you guys. I will be getting the other two up as, as soon as possible. I'm not sure if I'll get it up through the weekend. Maybe um, we're really, really busy um, over the weekend. And Chris does my editing and my uploading and that type of stuff. And he uh, is busy helping uh, other churches over the weekend. And so we may get them, get them up on you know through the weekend. But if not... For sure, uh, Monday and Tuesday. But that's all I have for now. God bless you and I love you. Bye-bye.